Welcome back to the channel everybody in this video I'm going to show you how to use beaten powder this is a powerful humectant trust me this humectant is something that lots of formulators do not use but I'm bringing this to you because I've used it to make product for my brand I've used to make product for my clients and you know what this is one of the rainy product right now so if you are not on top of the trend right now this is the trend going on in the skincare industry now how do you use B10 powder I'm just going to do this video quick uh, if you're not a formulator just stay tuned you know the more you watch uh, my videos the, the better I get into the groove okay even though I have cosmetic chemistry background uh, a lot of cosmetic formulators do not have the background they are still doing well it's just the amount, the amount of knowledge that you are able to pick at a time that will determine how well you go so be encouraged if you love to formulate product this is a channel for you so before I go further I uh, will encourage you to click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload my next video so in this video I want to explain to you how to use betaine powder so look in the description box below for link to where to buy this betaine powder uh, it's at pureblendnatural.com I really encourage you this is you know as a formulator I will not tell you wrong thing where to buy you know the right grade and you know with um, information from your own firm or fellow formulator now the first thing you want to do head to pureblendnatural.com to pick up your own betaine powder how do you use betaine powder there are a lot of conflicting information out there and i've tested this on my hand and the f the best way to use betaine powder is to use it in the cool down phase of your formulation do not use betaine powder in the heated phase of your formulation as it can affect the outcome of your of your products okay a lot of people are using it they'll eat it with a water face ingredient and you know and that's it no do not okay what you do is that you're going to use it cool down okay make sure you use betaine powder in the cool down phase of your formulation so uh, if you're not a cosmetic formulator, this might sound weird to you, but my fellow cosmetic formulator will understand this better. In my next video, we're going to make a toner with a beating powder, so you see exactly how I use it. But if you're a formulator, just take uh, between 1 to 5% is okay for you. So just take between 1 to 5% and put it in water, in distilled water. So let's say you're making a toner, for instance, which I'm going to show you shortly. You're going to take the amount you want to use, put it in the distilled water of your formulation, and it dissolves very well. So I'm going to show this to you now. Don't worry, you might think, oh, where's the formula? Show us the formula. No problem, my friends. I'm going to show you the formula. Just stay tuned, okay? I want patience from you. Remember, you cannot learn well if you're not patient. So just uh, be a bit more patient with me so you can learn the best from here. As long as I keep giving you the right information on this channel, I know we'll all learn together. And we're better at formulating right so just take uh, the amount you want to use with a one percent too so maybe meaning if you're making 100 gram of uh you want to make 100 gram of your toner but make sure um you always cover it okay it's very important that you cover it because it att attracts moisture as a humectant it attracts moisture so make sure you always cover it very well so when you take what you want to take cover it right away okay so take what the amount you want okay and add it to this so let's say you want to make a toner now measure the amount of water you want to use now for instance i have my betaine let's just say at one percent you're going to add your water to it it's highly soluble in water so just add water, your water to it and all you have to do is just mix it right mix it highly soluble in water in no time this is going to this is going to dissolve for you as you can see so perfect so easy to do as you see very 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 easy to do right and that's it you can add your other ingredient just continue to add what you want to add and you are good to go I have a good tip for you i'm, I'm going to make that in another, vi in another video you can use betaine powder actually to dissolve salicylic acid 
that is going to be the scope of another video i do not want to mess up the resin so now that you have your beating powder how do you use it just add it to the water phase of your formulation if you are making hot process emulsion like lotion that you have to eat the water phase you eat the oil phase you have to wait until you get to the cool down phase take a little bit of water from the water phase of your formulation and add it to your beating powder in the cool down phase and add it to your final product. So let's say you're making a lotion and your water phase uh, has, uh, for instance, I should be writing this down, be explaining to you through my writing. I'm so sorry about this, but let me just uh, start now, not too, not too late. So let's say you are making a lotion and your water phase, and your water phase has, uh, your distilled, in your water phase, your distilled water, distilled water is 60%, for instance, right? That's your water phase. Remember, you still have your heated oil phase, right? So when you get to the cool down phase, which is below, right, 40 degrees Celsius, right? What you're going to do at that time is that you're going to take the amount of beating you want to use. Remember, you can use your beating powder from 1% to 5%. So take the amount of beating you want to use, come to the cool down phase. So let's say you want to use 3%, okay, right? So that's the amount you want to use for beating powder, right? What you do then, you're going to borrow some, some let's say two, I always recommend my friend to use 2%. So you take 2% water here. So I always say what plus water, okay, which is 2%. I borrowed that so that is going to be reduced to 58 percent that's exactly what i'm trying to explain to you so when you get to the cool down phase of your formulation just had uh three percent of your beating powder add it to the proof percent of your water so if you do not understand the what the percentage and all then you need to learn cosmetic formulation is another another video in this and i did that video on this channel for those past who have who have learned that formula botanica or other school but they don't understand the concept uh, to convert percentage to gram, that's something different, which I explain very well on this channel. So just search how to do this. But to make it easy for everyone, if you're not a cosmetic formulator, right? It's hard because you won't understand what water phase is, oil phase and cool down phase. So let's say if you want to make a toner, for instance, your toner, you want to make 100 gram of toner. So let's, for my cosmetic formulator, you understand what I'm saying, right? So. If you have any question, don't worry, just drop in the comment box of this video. So if you're making 100 gram of a toner, and you're, the toner, no, 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 that will not be a toner, for instance. I just want to explain the complicated uh, step here. Uh, let's say you want to make a lotion. Remember, lotion has water face, oil face. So let's say you want to make 100 gram of your lotion. So let me explain it a little better for everyone to understand. So if you do the still water face, water of your lotion is... 60% and you want to use between a 3% don't forget take 2% of the water add it here it's going to be added to your betaine at the cool down phase right then you're going to add it to your final lotion and mix it that's exactly how you do it okay but if you're just making a toner you don't need to borrow anything just add it in order add your betaine powder to your distilled water make sure that's the first thing you add add your betaine powder to your distilled water mix it as you all see it's very soluble in water okay it's a free flowing crystalline powder now i'm going to watch uh explain something to you make sure be careful where you buy your ingredient from there are a lot of fake ingredient suppliers especially online uh, most ingredient suppliers do not have cosmetic formulation background and that's the problem at pure natural yes we have cosmetic formulation background so you will be able you know you are getting the right product for your formulation not an inspired product a lot of cosmetic formula uh, um, supplier ingredient supplier do sell inspired oil no because we understand that you are making product to sell so we cannot afford to sell you bad product that's going to result in you know fair formulation so that's why it's very important that you buy your product from a cosmetic formulator so that's why i always recommend pure blend natural to everyone i hope this video has been a help in our next video let's make a toner okay we're going to make narrowly toner okay with betaine powder so stay tuned for that video thanks for watching everyone